two days after the fight, didn't go the way you planned it to go. How's everything going? Well, the good, the good thing is that Mike is okay. We, we took him to the emergency room after the fight, you know, just for the Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the took the blame for that after he made weight after the second weigh-in. Now that it's over, maybe you can say things that you didn't say before the fight. Did you have any concerns going going into the fight after the weigh-in and, and seeing how, how Mike looked at the weigh-in? Kind of gaunt and, and didn't look like he was had that much energy after? Yeah. 
and I'll say this, that nothing but class from Team Alvarado from beginning to end, and, and Team Provodnikov too. Classy from beginning to end, and, and after the fight, stayed the same. So, and, and another thing, when, when Mike came into the ring, he looked he looked great. <clears throat> he looked way better than, than he did at the uh, weigh-in, and he came in with a nine-pound weight advantage, actually. The fight started out up. It started out real good, and, and it was close for the first half of the fight. first few rounds were great, and it looked like it was going to be a close, contested fight. What was the game plan going in for Ruslan? You, you saw him fight Tim Bradley. You knew you were in for a tough night. Everyone knows when, when you're fighting Provodnikov, you're going to be in for that rough night. What was, what was the game plan like, and, and how, how well did Mike follow the game plan at first?
somewhere around the, the sixth or seventh round, and, and you notice that Ruslan started getting the best of him in the exchanges and started hurting him more. At what point did you get concerned with what you were saying? And he got dropped in the mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was up. And, uh, when he got dropped, then, um, he, showed, he showed a lot of signs of life after, after he got dropped. Mm-hmm. That was the second time. Because he came back strong and, and finished, finished pretty strong. And then I came back in the game because you know, he was in a beating in a warrior. At that moment. At the end of the night, uh, you know, he pretty much survived and he did well. Yeah. 
said or they said to each other? I'm sorry, I only got like like three more minutes. 
this way, Rudy. If you want to go now, just let me know. Hang right up there. But like like Mike said about himself, and, and a lot of Warriors are like that. They're emotional guys. They fight on emotion. What, what did he say after the Max Kellerman interview was over, after the cameras went away, and, and before he went to the hospital, or after he went to the hospital, when you had a chance to talk to him, what, what was his mood like?
I think I think you can give me more, or you can give more. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, you know. Yeah, and, and anything's possible. He was able to do it against Brandon Rio. Some guys are like that, you know. Some guys need to have that fight and, and bounce back on another night. How, how good do you think Ruslan is, and how bright do you think his future is? Well, he's fine.